Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au. I'm a MailChimp certified partner and I deliver online MailChimp training. Before we get going, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to this channel. Today I'm going to cover what an abuse report is in a MailChimp report. I get asked this often in my training sessions. So in MailChimp itself, I'm in the re uh, report section and I'm going to click view report next to one of my email campaigns that I've sent. What I'm going to very quickly describe is, and if I scroll down, this abuse reports. Now this is just a demo and you'll notice it's zero. This means an abuse report is saying how many people marked this email that you sent them, this email campaign that you've sent them, how many people have marked it as spam? In other words, manually dragged and dropped it into a junk folder or marked it as spam in some other way. This is a very good indicator to MailChimp and other systems for that matter of whether people actually want to get your email marketing and recognize you. So for example, spammers would have a huge amount of abuse reports. So MailChimp say that very roughly, if you have more than 0.1% uh, of all emails sent marked as abuse reports, which means one out of a thousand, if more than one out of a thousand of your emails that you send are marked as spam, your account will be flagged for review. Typically this means that you'll need to re-agree to MailChimp terms and conditions and sometimes MailChimp will even close your account if it's very bad. So again, MailChimp report is the number of people that have manually marked your email as spam or junk. So they've received it into their inbox and then they've marked it as spam or junk. If you really want to, you can, to see who marked you as spam, you can go to the top of your report, click activity, and then down the bottom click complained and that will let you know who uh, marked your emails as spam. I certainly hope this has helped you. Thanks for joining me. I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au.